It, turning to this now, uh, speaking of travel, this Memorial Day weekend, there were more than 5,000 flights canceled globally and thousands more delays and airlines citing bad weather and staff shortages. Casey Murray is the president of the Southwest Airlines Pilots Association, and he joins me now. Casey, this was a headache for so many people across the country, around the world, really. What happened? Well, this weekend, well, thanks for having me, Carly. And um, I, uh, you know, this weekend was was tough with weather. There was some widespread um, weather, um, widespread storms, uh, quite a few tornadoes, and with the amount of people traveling, uh, it was it was a rough weekend for everyone. All right. Well, here are some frustrated passengers talking about what they're going through. Listen to this. As soon as we uh, got here, that's when we got the email about that our uh, flight was actually canceled. Apparently, we had inclement weather. And so my flight got delayed four times and canceled. And I finally arrived in Atlanta this morning, 3 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Not good. So we're hearing uh, you say, you talk about weather, also some staffing shortages. What needs to happen to get the airline industry back on track? Well, you know, speaking to Southwest, um, we have a point-to-point -point system. Everybody else does hub and spoke. And, and for Southwest, it takes us a little bit longer to kind of recover from, from these issues. And, and we're seeing a lot of, of inefficiencies as well as, as some shortages as well uh, across the whole airline. Um, and, and, and that's causing some issues at Southwest. It, it also causes us to kind of take a little bit longer to, to get back on track. Why are these staffing shortages happening? Well, I believe on a macro level, you know, a lot of it is post-pandemic. Um, there were so many workers in the U.S. that sort of disappeared from, from the entire labor force. Uh, for pilots, um, there's a pilot shortage. It's difficult to, to, to recruit and retain the best pilots, and, and so we're, we're kind of fighting that as well. All right, so, you know, we're diving into the summer months. Kids are getting off school. There's going to be a lot of family vacations that people are looking forward to. What can people expect as the summer months uh, progress? Well, I, I think it's going to be a challenge for everyone uh, across the industry. Uh, again, shortages, um, you know, from from the ramp workers to um, operations agents, those who check you in. Uh, checking bags, um, as well as as to the pilots, and so it's going to be a challenge, and and uh, it's going to have to be managed correctly by by management. And how would you propose doing that? Well, at Southwest, uh, I was on with Fox in October. Southwest had a fairly large meltdown then, and um, and I said, someone needs to ask Southwest, what are they doing proactively to take care of these problems? And and we're still seeing the same inefficiencies built into connecting pilots to airplanes. So a lot of that is still in place, and it's still going to present challenges with the shortages as well as the inefficiencies. Mm. So do you have any advice that you could give to people headed to the airport? Uh, you know, there's nothing worse than going to the airport, having your whole day or weekend planned out and then getting a flight cancellation with seemingly no explanation behind it well I, I would offer hang in there um, it's going to it's going to get better and and as far as the Southwest pilots we're the hardest working most productive safest in the world and and we will do everything in our power to get you uh, where you're trying to go as quickly and safely as possible yeah we were just talking about gas prices and domestic airline fares for the summer are up it's uh, average price of three hundred and eighty three dollars per round trip ticket this is a thirty four percent increase from twenty nineteen and you know when you talk about the airline industry gas prices are such a huge topic of conversation yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a, a pretty major headwind for us. Uh, you know, in in today's world, and especially at the airlines, um, operational efficiency and operational success is really the key to financial success. So when we're talking about these inefficiencies that I was just mentioning, and and how. Southwest is connecting pilots to airplanes. Um, you know that adds money, and 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 it also adds you know inefficiency. Um, with the very high fuel prices yeah. just breeds more inefficiency. Oh, boy. And it seems like there is so much inefficiency, inefficiency when it comes to the airline industry these days. But, Casey, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate thank it. You. Thank you, Carly. You're very welcome.